okay? That make me really sad. Why? Just because, you know, like, we're in it together. So, a lot of time when I want to implement, like, for us to do family prayers, I want us to really push. Just because I know that God is our foundation and... Okay, so week two of A Lifelong Love by Gary Thompson. Thomas. Gary Thomas. Yeah, I'm getting tired. <laughs> Did you want to eat? I no. just go cook and eat. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. Okay. Uh, so we got to do a devotional yes, first. devotional first. You read a paragraph and then I'll read a paragraph. Okay. Looking for the life to come. Ask yourself in my marriage, how often do I get trapped into fighting over things that in the end don't really matter? How many marital problems would be solved if couples would simply read the Sermon on the Mount once a month together? Your turn. Mm -hmm. This isn't to disdain. disdain. The things of the earth. No need to do that. It's to exalt the things of heaven. Jonathan Edwards wrote like a poet. Fathers and mothers, husbands, wife or children, or the company of earthly friends are but, but shadows. But the enjoyment of God is the substance. substance. These are but, oh. <clears throat> These are but scattered beings, but God is the sun. These are but but streams, but God is the fountain. These are but drops, but God is the oceans. All of this means we have to work at keeping our focus, our magnificent obsession. Otherwise, we might put all our focus on lesser but still important aims. Trying to improve our communication, get our finances in order, keep our romance fresh and fun, and so on. We have to remember that these are not the stuff of life, and they are not the end goal. After all, as Edwards reminds us, if our lives be not a journey towards heaven, they will be a journey to hell. If you truly desire to live this out, talk with your spouse and or a group of friends on a monthly basis. Ask one another, how is the hope of heaven influencing the way we love one another, the way we raise our kids, the way we spend our money, the way we focus on our time? You can read that last one. Okay, so these are the questions. How are you and your spouse daily living out your hope of heaven? And the second question is, if you were able to keep an eternal mindset how would this affect your day-to-day -day life? How is your daily living out, out your, your hope, hope of heaven? Or well, what does what do they mean when they say hope of heaven? I don't know. Is that is that um? Oh, you can read from here. Right. Is that kind of like how we gotta do good things before we go to heaven? Or oh. good deeds. So let's read this again. How is the hope of heaven influencing the way we love one another? The way we raise our kids. Hope of heaven. I think there might be more answers later. So mm -hmm. you want to keep reading? No, I let's answer the question first. Let me double check. Because the next one is the Bible verse. So how are you and your spouse daily living out hope, your hope of heaven? Um, so it has to be of influence the way we love. No, I think the way how we work our life together. 
You think that's what it's saying? Yeah, like all of these mean we have to work at keeping our focus, our magnificent obsessions. Otherwise, we might put our focus on lesser, but still important aims, trying to improve our communication, get our finances in order, keep our romance fresh and fun, and so on. We have to remember that these are not the stuff of life, that they are not the end goal. After all, as Edwards remind us, if our life be not a journey towards heaven, there will be a journey to hell. Yeah, so so hope of heaven is really our journey to heaven. Yeah, so what are we doing? I guess, what are we doing? That what is, are you doing? Well, every morning when I drive to work, I, I turn on my Bible app. Every morning. You read it or you just... No, I turn it on to listen to it. Mm -hmm. While on the drive... On my drive to work. And then right when I get there, before I go... um, Before I go into the office, um, I do a little prayer. And mostly my prayer contains uh, you and the kids, you know, for God to watch over you guys on your way to dropping the kids off off from school, uh, off to school. And, you know, just asking the hand of God to, uh, for protections while, you know, I'm at work and, and the kids are in school and you do your, your, your thing, so. What else? I think that they're not just talking about, like, prayer or Oh, yeah, Bible I know, reading. but then that's my daily that that's I do. That's your daily that yes. you do. But other than that, of course, like, I don't know. What do you do? My daily... It's is so cold different in here. Yours. My nose is running. It's cold? Mm-hmm. Really? But yeah, go on. You want to keep each other warm? No. <laughs> so my daily is different from yours. My daily is uh, my duties towards my kids, right? Mm-hmm. I wake up. I take them to school. Um, I try to talk to them as much as I can. If they have questions, we we talk. Uh, we don't pray or read Bible or anything like that uh, when I take them to school. And like for me, I think I try to always do a good deed. Like whoever I'm talking to, whoever I meet, uh, whether it's people at the office, clients that I'm showing a home to, I, I try to be really like courteous and do good deeds. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So... That's my daily. That's what I would say. Okay. And I don't think anything's wrong with that. Oh, I'm not saying that there's something's wrong. Oh, with I that. I know, I know, I know. I'm just I'm just thinking. Of course, we could do more. I could do more. You know, you could do more. Mm-hmm. So if you were able to keep a eternal mindset, how would this affect your day to day? Just be more intentional. Well, I think if we were to keep this as an eternal mindset, I think both of us will come out differently. Like how we are today, how we handle things. Um, Mm -hmm. Our patience to our anger, everything. Yeah. You know, because a lot of times when we do things, uh, we definitely do it out of feelings. And... um, the midst of the moments how we feel and that's not really godly sometimes because we could say things that hurt each other right mm-hmm. or vice versa like we could say things to our kids that shouldn't be coming out the way how it should be and then it hurts their feelings and then it goes along to like our financials and um our day-to-day things you know what we do focus Yep, that's true. Um, For me, I just think that if I had an eternal mindset, how it's going to affect my day-to-day is it would just keep me super aware. Mm-hmm. I'll just be super aware of my, everything I do. Uh, I'll be more intentional, mm-hmm. you know. But then that's crazy, though, right? Like, imagine, like, day-to-day, uh, if we were to be perfect, right? Mm-hmm. Then, like, you'll wake up, we'll have, like, such a cheesy moment, and be like, honey, 
Have a good day at work. Let me pray for you before you go. That would be nice. But right, right, right. I'm up before you. Right, right, right. right, right. So. So, so, so imagine a perfect day, right? A perfect day would be like you waking up, mm-hmm. I wake up, and then we cook dinner, we pray, and then you go to work and, and I pray. Cook f- breakfast. Cook breakfast, whatever. We cook food. And then I, we pray for the food, and then you leave, and then I pray for you before you leave. <laughs> I give you a kiss. Let's try that. <laughs> <laughs> we should. And then... And then, like, uh, I wake up the kids. I'll be like, kids, wake up. God is God gave us a new day today. And they pray for them as they wake up. And, you know, honestly, you know? I think praying is such a big thing. And that's what we should do. Yeah, like we don't you, we don't pray as much. You know, like, you're the one who, like, um, take the kids to school. You guys should do a prayer together, you know? Because mm-hmm. morning is hectic, I'm sure. It is. Because... They're getting ready, or they'll tell you to. They'll yeah. tell you to get up. Mm-hmm. They're like trying to get breakfast. I like my. I like my morning. My morning sleep. Yeah, but then you know, I think <laughs> I think we're getting older now, and um, our kids are also getting older, and I think it's up to us to to give them that role model. And no, yes, you know. you're right. I, I mean, like it, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um. Not that it doesn't have to be perfect, but that I know there's no such thing as perfections. And at least we know that we're trying and, and that we're doing it. We're implement, implementing it into our daily life. I think it will be a diff, like a whole a whole new life. You want to start it? Yeah, we start tomorrow. If you're willing to get up. Of course I'm willing. You just, gotta, you just got to remind me. You just got to be like, hey, oh, first day today. Yeah, we could try it tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Cool. Next. Yeah. You ready to go to the next or you want to talk more about this? Um, Up to you. I mean, like, do you feel like we cover everything? Yeah. Like, because we still got to go through the scripture and all that, too. This isn't even the scripture. Mm-hmm. This is a devotional. Okay. Okay. So this is Hebrews 13, uh, verse 14. Okay. I'll go first. For here we do not have a enduring city, but we are looking for the city that is to come. Through Jesus, therefore, let us continue to offer to God a sacrifice of praise, the fruits of lips that openly profess his name, and do not forget to do good and, sh- and to share with others. For with such sacrifices, God is pleased. Have confidence in your leaders and submit to their authority. Because they keep watch over you as though, as those who must give an account. Do this so that their work will be a joy, not a burden, for that would be of no benefit to you. Pray for us. We are sure that we have a clear conscience. Conscience. Con- conscience. 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 <laughs> and desire to live honorably in every way. I particularly urge you to pray so that I may be restored to you soon. Now may the God of peace, who through the blood of the eternal covenant brought back from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, equip you with everything good for doing his will. And may he work in us what is pleasing to him. Through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Okay, next one. The next verse is Philippians 3, verse 20. You can read this one. But our citizenship is in heaven, and we eagerly await a Savior from there, the Lord Jesus Christ, who by the power that enables him to bring everything under his control, will transform our lowly bodies so that they will be like his glorious body. Let's talk about that. Um, I think there's a these questions so based on today's reading what is one thing god is saying to you based on today's reading what is one thing god is saying to you what are you doing i'm sorry i'm trying to go back to these verses I honestly think that we don't pray together as often. Mm-hmm. 
and I think we should, um, us as a whole family, too. You know, you and you and me individually. Remember, we tried that for a while. Try reading together. Yeah, but then and then we stop. I can't only be the one who keep all of us accountable. So I need you to join forth with me. So sometimes I forget. We both forget. Okay. Well, can you agree? I could agree. Okay. Yeah, I could. Okay. Can you? So, so why are you talking back? I'm not talking back. I'm just saying that like um, sometimes I forget, but sometimes you forget too. And it's, I feel like sometimes you start no, it. It's not because I forget. I just feel like we're not intentional enough. I know. And but then when, when we remember, like we should act on it. Okay. But we don't. But we should. Because then we've been distracted. Okay, then why can't we just, let's continue to do it. Yeah, we, we could. Okay. Yeah, we could try to do it. What else? I don't know. I just feel so convicted right now because um, you and I still have a long way to go and there's still a lot of growth to go. Mm -hmm. And because we're still like kind of bickering at each other, you know? Um, that we do really need to like work on this prayer thing and and see where it takes us. Just because I feel like um the way how we are right now, it doesn't really work with us how we parent to our kid. Um, a lot of time we do take our anger out out on them, and which they don't really deserve that. Because they don't know anything and they look up to us for guidance. And for us to like be so childish sometimes and we put the blame to our kids, it's not fair. And that could really cause a lot of damages. You know what I mean? And to this, mm -hmm. God is telling me that I need to check myself and um the way how the way how I'm moving towards heaven. Is this the way how I want to move towards heaven? Mm -hmm. And um, what should I put new things into my daily, my daily days to do? Yeah. You know. Yeah. For me, I feel like, I feel like, um, because I don't have that one-on-one -on -one anymore with anyone. Mm -hmm. Not yet, you know, we're starting, um, but I'm still waiting. But once I start that one on one, like right now, I don't have that, so nobody's keeping me accountable, and nobody's like calling me out. And for you, I can't call you out because we'll probably argue. Yeah, because because if I call you out, I I'm pretty sure you're gonna put your pride up, saying, "Hey, like I'm not that bad. You think I'm this and that, and that. you know what I mean? I'm, I'm not that bad. Though. Exactly. So <laughs> that's what you would think." And, and you definitely need somebody to keep you accountable because I get called out every week. You know what I mean? Because just because I have that one on one to keep me on track. So when the, when when your when your uh, mentor does your one on one with you, mm -hmm. does she uh, share one thing that she calls you out on? Yeah. I know. Can you share with me? One thing she calls you out on well, that you're trying to work on? Well, I would like to keep that between me and her because that's my self-growth. Okay. But, like, you know, like, there's a lot of things that I do that I'm not proud of. Like what? Huh? Like what? Like not being... You could, you could share that with me. <laughs> like, just not... Like, I like to... Like, as I like to know that I'm I'm in control. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and that... Uh, <laughs> and that sometimes i i need to um you know like it's like when you're playing a game be a better sport mm. you know and i i need to beat that person so that way i can help i can help cheer you on so that you could be um growing to the best of yourself not being grown but do 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 what you're good at and i'm just here to support you and be your cheerleader versus versus going against you and <laughs> trying to win you and up you you know what i mean yeah so i i get caught out on a lot of those selfishness inside me um which is good and i'm working on it even even till now like it's it's hard 
it's hard to bite my tongues because sometimes you do irk my nerve. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, man, no, I don't know what yes, you mean. You do. <laughs> I don't. Like, you'll talk back to me, like, man, like, do I really need to, like, like, zip my mouth right now and not say anything? Or should I just talk back and say, hey, like, oh, you tell yourself that? Yes. Like, man, like, he's really taking my nerve. So should I say something or should I just zip my mouth? So a lot of the time, I'll. A lot of time, you know what you do? You'd be like, I don't want to talk to you right now, Chia. <laughs> I don't want to talk to you right now. And then you just walk away and you don't talk to me. You just, and then you're angry. <laughs> and then what ends up happening is I'll always come to you or do something on, that annoys you. Of course. Or makes you laugh or smile. And then you'd be hella mad because you still want to be angry at me. <laughs> right? And then, and then you will open up and be like, you better apologize. <laughs> you better... You better make what you did wrong, or you better go make it up. No, or no, or I'll <laughs> say you better go sit over there and think what you did, and then come talk to me. A no, lot, but but the, in the heat of the moment, in the heat of the moment, that's what you say. You'll be like, think about what you just did. Think about what you just did, okay? Yeah, think about what you just did. Think very clearly. <laughs> but then knowing the person that you are is really hard to work with. You know? How? Because like you, you're very opinion uh, opinionated. Uh, you like to speak your mind. You like to assume a lot of time. You assume and you think you know everything. Which sometimes I hate to say you don't know, and you think you do. So that's what not really a little bit. no. So that's what really irk my like not irk, but then that's what really fuse me too. Because you know I thought we're in it together versus like going against each other so like when i feel like it's not the right time to talk about it then that's when i step down and like hey you know like i don't want to talk to you right now wait until we're cool a lot of times i'll say wait until we're cool or a lot of times i'll say you know you need to go eat (laughs) Mm -hmm. you know so like like when i already feel those vibe i i like to like just keep our distance until like you know, I'm I'm not sure like if you do pray in the me- in the heat of moments, but I do. I'd be like, you know, like God, oh, like please check my heart or like please like, you know, like you do that. Yes, that's good. And I'd be like, you know, like please check my do. heart or like or please like allow Chia to, you know, see what. Maybe you should you pray see. out loud from now on so I could hear it too, <laughs> no. and then it'll convict me too. No, like, I, I felt like, <laughs> and then, you know, like, sometimes it'll make me really. Sorry. It's okay. It make me really sad. Why? Just because, you know, like, we're in it together. So, a lot of time when I want to implement, like, for us to do family prayers, I want us to really push just because I know that God is our foundation and, you know, like, putting him into our day-to-day life, I know it will go well. But then sometimes it's just so, there's just so much distractions around us. And then you'll forget and I forget. And then I'll feel like, like, if we miss out on a church day, like, I feel like it's my fault. Because, like, you should be the one who's leading us and... And I'm the one who's trying to lead, but really, like, I should give you that role, you know, to lead us. Like, like, hey, come on, like, let's let's not miss out church today. Let's let's get it going. Or like, okay, let's pray. And I felt like that role should be yours, you know. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. I don't know what's right or wrong. You know, I think. You put too much pressure on you because you always do that. Mm-hmm. You, when something goes wrong or doesn't go the way you plan it to be, you get very upset at yourself only. You blame everything on you, even if it's not your fault. You blame yourself, and then when you get time to reflect now and you get time to think. You cool down and then you start realizing what really caused it. And so 
I think that's why you feel the way you feel right now. It's because you do that, right? I you, do. You put a lot of pressure on yourself when you're not at fault. You know, it, you always say this to me. What do you always say? It what? takes two to tango, mm -hmm. right? You always say that to me. And it's true. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it does take two to tango. You can't tango yourself. I know, but you know, I, so, I just felt like if I don't take initiative, then it just... I don't think it's that you don't take initiative and then it causes it to, uh, for us, like, for example, if we miss church, right? We wake up late or we do something stupid the night before and we miss church or we just get lazy and we don't go. Like, something like that is not your fault. It's, it's really, there's a lot of things that come into play, right? Like, what are we doing that day? Are we staging? Oh, you know what? Maybe we need to plan for that because we... We did not prepare well enough to plan to go do the staging. So since that's last minute, then we'll just go stage. And then we'll just tune into the word afterwards. Like we t we give ourselves out the, that excuse. You know what I mean? Like yeah. we both do it. Not just you. Or sometimes you'll be like, you know what? I really want to go. And I'll be like, uh, I guess we could go. You know, up to you. Yeah. And then we, we don't want to go no more. Or, you know, like that's just one example. But... You do put a lot of pressure on you for no reason. Well, there has to be a reason. There's a reason, but then there sh you should not be the only one feeling all that burden. You know what I mean? Because again, it's not entirely all your fault. Sometimes, sometimes it's the kid's fault. It's not the kid's <laughs> fault. It's sometimes never, it's my fault. It's never the kid's fault. You I know? just feel like, you know, like, like from what I learned, the man of the household sh should take the lead. And a lot of time, like, I don't see you do that. And then it make me feel like, okay, I need to step on my plate to do that. Because if I don't do it, then you won't do it. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. it make me feel really sad that, okay, like, by now you should know, you know. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, God is our foundation. Mm -hmm. And if we don't have that foundation, then we wouldn't be where we are today. Like, relationship-wise, parenting, everything. Mm -hmm. and it's really important to me that's why like i'm like always pushing and i feel like it's my fault because i just don't want to be where we were before so like like you know it's not that i don't give myself enough credit it's like i do but at the same time it's like if i don't then you will fall and i don't want to see you fall you know so you know what's crazy know. It's you know what's just, crazy I feel like whenever I um, commit to something, I commit too much, mm -hmm. and then I take time away from something else, right? And then it upsets you. So, like for example, right when when we were serving at mm -hmm. our initial church, mm -hmm. uh, you were the one that brought me into it, right? Mm -hmm. You were the one that brought me, and then uh, from there I started uh, knowing more people. I started getting uh involved and i started going all out i started i started like putting 110 percent into all of that mm -hmm. and then for me the reason why i was doing all that you know was because i i was passionate you know i i was passionate about it i wanted to become a better christian wanted to know more about volunteering serving god serving the local church helping individuals and becoming a better husband for you and becoming a better father for the kids mm -hmm. but i felt like when i was doing that like we would still have certain disagreements mm -hmm. because sometimes I would feel like you would want me to stop doing that. Mm -hmm. And it would confuse me because it makes me feel like this is a good thing that I'm doing. Like, mm -hmm. shouldn't you be like agreeing with what I'm doing? You know what I mean, right? Oh yeah, of you course. know, you know, you know what I'm talking about, right? I, I, I do. And, and, and so like during those moments, mm -hmm. it always, it confused me. It makes me feel like, Okay, then maybe she doesn't want me to commit this much. Maybe, I, then maybe I'll stop. So then when we stopped committing, when I stopped committing uh, at 110%, I felt like it got worse. Yeah, see, the thing is, because and so, we, you got to agree, we didn't have a communication. Yeah, and we were distant. Wasn't that good? And we were distant a lot when, we're, when we were serving. We were not serving together. You know what I mean? Like we didn't, we didn't have any like communication by the time we're done we don't talk 
we're exhausted, uh, we just don't have any connections. So, you know, like, it's not that, like, I don't like what you do. I love what you do. So I feel like there's no balance. And, you know, like, the whole balance thing, there's never such thing as balance. But then there's no, like, not like a routine, but, like, there's no, like, we don't put any personal time to decide to, like, check how we feel. Are we in this together? Like, where are we in this? You know what I mean? Well, we never have that no so like so when you do that it's all great like i will never go against all that but then for me like i'm a human being like i am your wife i do need to know where you're at like know where you're at but then in life you know what how you feel like how i feel like what what are our 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 next steps you know what I mean? I don't know. It's it's hard to explain. No, no, no. I know what you mean. It's just like, that, like you just you just needed me to continue to communicate with you on a normal basis. Or not just that. We don't have a discipleship in in our home. No. Like we don't pray together. We don't eat together. We don't sit together in the sermons. We and by then we're done like you do your own thing i do my own thing you know like that's the whole reason why you felt the way you feel and i feel the way i feel so there's like no support in each other and honestly like i don't know i felt like if we were to do it again knowing our needs Mm -hmm. i think we'll do good that's true and serving um ministries everything but then, because we were so new coming into it, we didn't know. Like, we, you put your 110, I put my 110. And at the end, we're both so miserable. Like, you feel like I'm not in it for you, supporting you. And I feel like you're not in it for me, supporting me. It's like, we didn't really have that connection with each other. And that's that's what I'm, like crying out for you know like if we're gonna do this and walk in christ we should do it together versus okay like you have your own focus i have my own focus and well it's a good thing we started this podcast (laughs) i feel like because i wanted to start this podcast because so that we could make time to do that right Cause I feel like right now everything we're talking are the ducks that we put under the rug. Cause it is. Me up. But then you know, like Chad, I truly appreciate you, like serving your whole heart. Like I love it. You're out there. People love you, and you're a better person. And then make you a better husband. Yes, I do. But then like I, at the same time, we're lacking at some other areas that we don't put too much focus on. So that, I just that that's just me. That's why I feel like. We are the way we are now. We probably move too fast or we just don't don't know. Well, we didn't know, you know. We didn't know. We didn't know. And, like, during that time, you know, my mentor did tell me to, like, the first thing my mentor would always ask me is, how's you and your wife? Mm -hmm. That was always the first thing that he would say to me is, how how is Nali? Mm -hmm. How are you and your wife? And then we will always talk about that first. Yeah. You know, but I think it was my job to continue to remind myself to do that. And I didn't. You know, mm-hmm. I, I for me, I always assumed that, again, I, I, I assume a lot. <laughs> <laughs> See, now you <laughs> No. <laughs> so I, 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 I've known that. But then, like, I've always assumed that you would see what I was doing and that you would kind of um, see that I was still thinking about you and that I was thinking about you and the family and that I wanted to communicate with you. And in my mind, I do. Mm -hmm. Like whenever he asked me that question, in my mind, I'm always thinking, yeah, I'm going to go talk to my wife today. I'm going to go talk to my kids today. I do. I think about it and I forget. <laughs> and then and then it's right here, right? I'll think about it. It's in front of my mind. And then throughout the day, throughout the day, throughout the day, it does this. It goes to the back of my mind. And then when I see you, it's just like, 
How was how was your day at work? Cause in cause in you know I did a million things. I was I was doing that. I was calling my team. I was calling my clients. <laughs> I was prospecting. I was showing houses. I was you know I was eating. I was picking up the kids. I was stressed out. And then all of a sudden, did you stop talking? Do you, do you get what I mean? I'm trying to paint a picture for you. <laughs> I no, hope I, it makes I get sense. it. Like I I get it. You know, like you're just built different. And, and I, it's not it's not intentional. It's not that I plan to come and be like, I ain't talking to her at all today. Shoot, she gonna suffer. I don't plan for that. I plan to come home and have a conversation with you and the kids. But then again, <laughs> it goes to the back of my mind. And then all of a sudden, the days go by. You don't say anything because you're so forgiving. You know, the days go by and you don't bring it up when you're yearning for it. You don't bring it up. A week go by, you don't bring it up. A month go by, you don't bring it up. And all of a sudden, it's like it six months. Up. And it builds up. And you start, you have all this grudge that's been building up. <laughs> and then you start talking about it. It's just like, holy crap, shoot. Like, what the heck did all this come from? And then in my mind, I'm thinking. You did everything right. <laughs> I did everything right because I already spoke to you. But then now that I realize it, it's always been, it's never been done. It was always in my mind, but it was never been done right like i said you're just built that way <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're built that but you know like for me like i i have my own my own flaws but then like at the same time like i know what priority is you know like home is my priority you and the kids are my priority a lot of times like i put a lot of things i want to the back because i can always catch up to it you know but then at the same time, I also felt so angry because, like, I'm trying to help you and cheer you on so you could reach the top. I only want to see you on the top. So that way I can slowly know that, okay, now that my husband is in a good place, I could, like, bring those yearning needs I want and and work on it. So I could climb up too. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. like it, it it made me really angry to see when you slack. It's like, man, like I'm continuous continuously sacrificing my dreams and goals. Like everyone have dreams and goals, you know? And I'm and and because we're married, I want to be your biggest cheerleader. I want to see you on top and shine. You know, that's all I want from you. Be on top, shines. You do your things. So when I need a hand to lift me up, I know that you can lift me up. You know? Mm -hmm. So when you're down here and I can't, and I being selfish wanted to run and be on top of you, it's not right. A lot of time I do want to do that. <laughs> but then at the same time, if we're doing this together. Sometimes I deserve it. No. <laughs> but at the same time, like, <laughs> like when I think about it, I was like, man, like, I. I can't do that because it's not right. You need to be up there and shine. So that way I know that you're good and I'm being, you know, like I'm I'm serving you as, not serving you, but like I'm serving my duty as a wife to you, you know? So when I want to reach my dreams and goals, I know that you are already strong enough up there and you can lift me up, you know? But then, we're still growing, we're still learning, and um, by reading all this, like, prayers is such a huge thing. Like, I'll do my little prayers here and there. Like, sometimes I do forget, but then when I do pray hard, I feel like it's moving somewhere. And that's why I want us to do church every Sunday consistently. I want to, um, that's why I'm like trying to implement this whole prayers thing for our family because I know our kids need prayers too and mm -hmm. they want to pray for their struggles too and I don't want that to go unheard. I don't want us to take our our, our angers towards them because they don't deserve that. Mm -hmm. And like like every every Tuesday meeting when we have our meeting, mm -hmm. what is your why to be a good role model, right? Mm -hmm. And. I don't want us to be a bad role model to our kids. Like, oh, see, daddy's lazy. So I'm going to be lazy too. You know what I mean? And we hear that a lot. Or like, oh, daddy didn't do this. So we're not going to do that too. Like, I just don't want that for our kids to see us doing that. It's just like so 
hypocritical for us, you know, mm-hmm. to say one thing but to do the opposite. Yeah. And um that's why I always blame myself for it because I feel like I'm the the mother to hold us together. I just felt that I'm your third child. <laughs> you are the third child. <laughs> I just felt like I'm I'm the rope to 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 us. You know, like that's just how I feel. I don't know how I'm just speaking for myself. And is that is that too much? And sometimes it is. And sometimes it makes me really sad. You know? Just because I want us to grow old together. Like I do want us to grow our family and um I want our kids to continue to know who God is and and live the like what the Bible says, you know. What do we do to our day to uh, our day to daily our daily day life to walk in you know the hope way. of heaven yes and um I want that for them and I want that for us and it's just so tough when you have all these desires but then we're not communicating what we want or what what's in us so then let's work on that you know. Again, hopefully this weekly thing that we're doing together right now is helping. Yeah. It's bringing us closer. I I feel like it is. Yeah. You know. Um I I've I, I'm I, I've seen you grown mm-hmm. in the past couple of years. You know, I don't I don't say it as much, but I do. Mm-hmm. Um we've both changed a lot. You know, like if we were to look back uh, five years ago before we started this journey, we, we probably wouldn't recognize ourselves, yeah. right? Because we, we've grown spiritually, uh, physically, <laughs> and like mentally. Yeah. Uh, we, we've developed ourselves over the last five years and yeah. to, like, to like a place to where we don't recognize ourselves that long ago, you know? And mm-hmm. so I think this is good for us and you know because i'm starting my one-on-one soon with yeah. uh uh with my mentor it's gonna be great um so that's gonna continue to put more burden for me to carry and it's gonna grow me it's gonna keep me accountable it's gonna mm-hmm. call me out because you know you know how he is he's gonna call me out no matter what you know he's gonna be like if i'm wrong he's gonna be like shit you're wrong you better correct yeah. it you know you know and that's just how he is. And I think I need that right now, right? Yeah. And so, and I think he knows I need that right now too. So he agreed to do it with me. So it'll be good. Yeah. You know, I, and, I, and honestly, like, I, I, our mentor calling us out is not a bad thing. No. You know, and which is good because we need that. We want that. We're, so, we're just so selfish to, to have them be on our side only like oh yeah you are right you need right, it. Right, right. but then really it's not it's not like that like hey no you're wrong you should go home and fix this or correct this or you know like don't do that you you shouldn't you shouldn't treat your husband like this or like that is like it's so good to hear like i don't a lot of time people will sugarcoat like when you talk to your friends so it sugarcoat everything like oh yeah you are right you're right you're doing you know like versus like hey like you need to check your heart you know, they'll call you out like, hey, did you ever check your heart? Right. You you were yelling too. Like, it's not all this person's fault. Right. You know what I mean? Like, we don't have the realness of that. And when, and when, you know, and God is so good. God put those people in our life to call us out. It was real. Like, yeah. hey, like, you did this. That's why this person did that. You know? And, um, Honestly, I'm just very thankful, and I just really like what the what our study did, uh, our study say today. You know, like what are we working on our daily day towards the hope of heaven? And I really want to implement prayers, just because I know prayers is a huge thing, and I want you to be the lead in this household. Mm-hmm. You know, like Sunday, hey, church is at this time, let's do it. You know what I mean? Versus like me. Sometimes I really forget. <laughs> and that's when we have all these things on our calendar, like to remind us. And like today, like I did, I really didn't want to miss it. So that's why, that's yeah, why I acted, we it I good. acted the way that I did. Like, mm-hmm. hey, hurry, like 
we're gonna miss it. I really had to use a bathroom last night. <laughs> <laughs> so, so like I really just want you like, you know, just hear me out. Like I want no, you I to you. take that initiative, Lee. Like even if I'm doing it, you know, every week, really, I like I want you to be in it with me to like, hey, let's do it. You know, for us and for our kids. Yeah, I did, right? I, I woke up the kids. <laughs> I told them to get ready for church. Yes, and I really appreciate that. I'm just <laughs> saying, like, going on for like, I just don't want... Yeah, we just got... I think moving forward, we just got to do that more. And then, like... Pray with each other more. Right, and Without then, kids. So, like, when we do miss, I'll, like, text you the next day, like, hey, like, I felt like, you know, I'm to blame for because I didn't really push a heart this Sunday. Or whatever, you know. Yeah. So. No, well, but I think you, you're doing good, wifey. <laughs> you're doing yeah, good. There's, I'm doing okay. <laughs> We're both doing okay. Yeah. But you're doing good. But then, like, you know, a, your wise, I do want to help you shine in your wise. So that way I can shine in my ways. You know, like my mentor say this last week, you know, your wins are my wins. And when you shine, I'm also shining too. So for me not to like always think about trying to up you or like go hard on my on what I want to do for myself, it's the perfect moment to help you grow and you shine so I can grow and shine with mm. you along the way. Yeah. And we're doing it together versus you doing it yourself and I'm doing it myself. Yeah. You know? So that's that's our last few session, but which is good. Yeah, which is good. Like, it made me think, like, okay, like, I could just take steps while I can help cheer you on better versus me thinking about me, 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 and I need you to cheer me on. Yeah. You know? So, yeah. Okay, so we know what we got to do. Prayers. Together as a family mm -hmm. and communicate. Yeah. And lead the family. Leave the family. Everybody want to go to heaven, right? <laughs> I mean, at least I, I do. Yeah. We should all do. We should all want to. Yeah. That was good. Yeah. Good session. <laughs> I'm going to leave that part in there. I'm not going to cut any of it out. I think you should. No. I'm not. I want to okay. kiss you. <laughs> you should cut this part no, out. No, <laughs> I want to kiss you. Okay. Love you. Love you too. Okay. Okay. Should you pray for us? Okay. We'll pray Since for us. you pray last time, I'll pray yeah. for us. Dear God, um, we both want to just give you thanks for everything you've done in our lives, in our kids' lives. And for surrounding us with people that we need um, during our seasons. You know, you always send people our way, but sometimes we, um, it's so hard for us to just accept those people in our lives, but you continue to lead them into our life. And God, I just want to thank you for my wife, um, for equipping her every day to be a better person for me, to be a better daughter for you. And just to be a good role model for others, like our kids and her, our friends. God, I ask that you will continue to um, grow her and groom her mm -hmm. in this season so that she can continue to be the woman of God that you have desired her to be. And God, I ask that you will continue to remind both of us every day that you are mm -hmm. still here. Thank you. And that you are still God. And that there is nothing that is impossible in your eyes. Mm -hmm. And that everything happens for a reason. And that through every battle, there is a lesson. And you're teaching us that lesson right now. Yes. So God, we thank you. We love you. We praise you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. All right. <laughs>